What up, noobs? Welcome to Season 2, Episode 2 of FL Noob Zone. So, I left you last time. We did a little scratch recording. I had a special request for some picture tutorials. So, uh, I just went ahead and recorded different parts to this song. It's pretty much... It's really simple, so... Uh, you learned how to record in the last one, so that should help you out with recording whatever you need to. And then we're going to move on to vocals here. Because vocals are always important. Always. Now, first of all, what I'm going to do is put on picture. And so this is a picture tutorial, as I told you. Now, first thing you're going to notice when you turn on picture, turn on picture, that it's like heavily auto-tuned, which can be good or bad, depending on what you like. So, what I'm going to do, one sec, what I'm going to do here is put, I like turning this down a little bit, just so it doesn't sound so T-Pain, but if you want super T-Pain, turn that to fast, whatever key you're in. In this case, my song is in G minor, so it's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, it gives you that exact T-Pain. And then if you want, like, pentatonic, um, it starts in G, so then you take out the second and then you take out, really to find. I think this is this one. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So we got G minor pentatonic. I can't believe that love is really hard to find. You know, it like, it actually like, uh, for, for some cases, like, one sec. Oh, yeah. Delay. Ooh, yeah. T-Pain in the house. E-Pain. <laughs> it's E-Pain. E-Pain in the house. E-Pain in the house. Gonna do your girls. You know, okay, so anyways, <laughs> as I was saying, this, uh, the pentatonic is good um, for newbie singers. If you want to use the T-Pain voice, because getting that, the, sh the sharp is, can be confusing to some people. The second and, so this is uh, first, second, and then the flat third. So we go, uh, you know, uh, those two notes are very close together for most uh, singers that can't really distinguish pitch uh, much. So take, uh, use this, it's G minor, you take out the second. So here, I'll just click it again. So let's go C minor, okay? Just to mess things up. So what we do is do we take out the second? Okay, so it's a C, two, three, four, five, sec sixth. So second and sixth. Okay, and you can use that for any key. So G minor, G, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah. So that should help you guys with just jamming on autotune. Now, let's record uh, our lead vocal with some E-Pain. <laughs> E-Pain in the house. Uh, yeah, let's do it. As I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna do the verse, pre-chorus, and then chorus, because I'm crazy like that. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, yeah. I can't believe that love is really hard to find I may be risking it all just to say what's really on my mind But if you believe that love can be here And if you believe that love can be near Would you take my hand baby and fly with me tonight make it right yeah can i take you home can we be alone be my everything I'll be your be your king can i take you home can we be alone be my everything I'll be your so that's first verse pre-chorus chorus in E-Pain style. So, now we got that uh, 
So this crazy tune. Now, a lot of you want the cool image and heap thing, you know, like you want it sounding like Nido. <laughs> Nido. So let's go vocals lead, okay? And we're gonna put in some harmonies on the chorus here, okay? So vocals uh, V B G. Now, um, I you'll notice I disabled picture. Um, I'll put it back on because, um, yeah. Here we go. Now we're in non crazy delay space. So let's do a little bit of this with some pitch on, and then we're gonna trigger some harmonies here. So uh, the way you do harmonies, you gotta click on MIDI, harmonize, and octaves. Because if you don't put octaves on, it sounds really bad. I really hate it. So let's spread these uh, vocals out, and we're gonna make sure we always have four parts going, okay? And uh, what you wanna hit here is the formant, okay? And what's that gonna do is gonna make your vocals sound more natural. So I'm just gonna go ahead. We got so I we selected those three. MIDI import port number one, okay? Now we go to channels. Uh. <laughs> Channels, MIDI out, okay? Now, that, you select the port one, okay? So port one, MIDI input port number one. You get it? You get it? I hope so, because like, seriously, I don't got all day. Or do I? So, we got our G, G. Oh yeah, baby. I did your mom last night. She really liked it. I just said I did your mom last night and she really liked it. And if you want to do that, plus have the lead vocal, notice it sounds all phasey. That's because I don't have any keys pressed for the background vocal. Now what that ha what it does, it, it uh, unfortunately when you press MIDI, it doesn't mute the signal. Um, that's what I, I, I pr honestly would have preferred that. But as soon as I put, um, as soon as I select a key, it's gonna stop being stupid, so. I did your mom last night. She really liked it. <laughs> and then I did your sister too, yeah. I did your mom last night. She really liked it. And then I did your sister. Then I did your sister too, yeah. So you notice the background vocals are a little loud, so let's turn those down. Let's try that again. I did your mom last night. She really liked it. And then I did your sister too. Your sister really liked it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's uh, how you harmonize. Oh, geez, I don't know if you saw it, but I was pressing the keys here. So let's just, I'll do it once, once more. Uh, you'll see here. Here we go. Let's see, I'm pressing down the keys, and uh, it'll trigger when my voice comes in. I did your mom last night. She really liked it. Then I did your sister too. Ooh ooh. <laughs> ooh ooh. See, that's classic songwriting there. Ooh. Ooh ooh. Oh, what the? Ooh ooh. There we go. Yeah. So it doesn't pick up uh, your voice like. When you when you press the keys down, it doesn't it like doesn't really pick up your talking voice, unless you talk like in a pitch like, la la, hey, how are you doing? How are you doing, everybody? How are you doing, everybody? You know you got to be like, actually like, solid pitch. Now, so anyways, <laughs> but I digress. So let's put in some backup vocals for this. <laughs> oh jeez, here we go. Let's see. Can I? I'll put that up. Can I get next to your head? <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. That's really gay. I mean, stupid. So you'll notice, oh, yeah. So this is kind of what I was going to tell you. Listen, uh, you heard that really high-pitched squeaky thing? Can I? See? That was the format key. So I put the format on, and it sounds more breathy, right? So let's move that. Uh, let's go G. Da, da. Can I? Yeah, see, that's better. So can I? Can I? Yeah, there we go. There's the seventh. So yeah, it makes it sound way more natural um, when you're playing like that. Can I? 
Let's see. Let's format. Let's format up. <laughs> Cannot. Yeah. So, here we go. Let's record some backup stuff. Actually, you know what? Here, I'm going to show you. So, you don't need to do this live. What you can do is you can uh, you can easily press press record, and then you have um, you be able to con convert it later. So, I'm just going to do like one backup photo. It's really simple. I'll show you. Tonight, make it right, yeah. Can I take you home? Can we be alone? Be my everything. Be your, be your king. Can I take you home? Can we be alone? Be my everything. Be your. So here I put the background vocals in. It was pretty loud, like the lead vocal and all that. And the guitar so just take a listen and then i'll show you how to modify this after the fact yeah can i take you home can we be alone be my everything be your be your king can i take you home can we be alone be my everything be your okay so that sounded all right now what basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new midi channel f4 Okay, and then um, we're gonna call it uh, Harmony Trigger. Okay, and then we add this to our list. Notice I'm putting it before the first bar. That's because my backup vocals come in before um, the actual bar of the chorus. Kind of weird. Anyways, so now we can just pl plug, it, pl plug, plug it in. <laughs> just plug in the vo plug in the chords. So we got G minor. <laughs> Okay, so that's like kind of, uh, yeah, can I, so the G minor, three, four, and then we got D minor, no, C minor, then D minor, notice I'm just dragging the minor shape up that works but then we have a f major so i'll drag that shape down like this why is that doing wait a minute <laughs> sorry i'm a noob i'm a noob i'm just a dirty noob like all of you now down to f and going yeah so there we go we got our harmony so let's hear it I, yeah can i take you home can we that's so bad. Oh, that's because I have four man on. Okay, let's turn this octave down. It'll sound better on like a lower octave, I think. G. Look at G3. Hey, yeah. Can I take you home? Can we be love? That sounds really bad. I'm not going to lie. So, um, anyways, I just time. <laughs> Epic fail. I demonstrated what uh, you can use the the keys for it. You know what, for these background vocals, I don't like the sound of that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to record many auto-tune backups. So I'm going to use the same technique of using the pentatonic in the lead vocal and then put that to the background track. Now how I'm going to do that is I'm going to put go to the vocals in here and I'm going to go to my background vocal. Let's put the, take this just a normal MIDI again or a normal detection. La, 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 la. There we go. So we got our minor pentatonic in G, minor pentatonic in G. And we go, instead of recording the vocals in, we're going to go to VBG, record that, and then plug that into another track. Put that at full strength, just so you get a full, better noise ratio for your recording. And then go B, B, G, one. Okay? So I'm going to do the same thing as my backup vocals there, and then I'm going to um, show you here. Make it right, yeah. Can I take you home? Can we be alone? Be my everything. Be your, be your king. Can I take you home? Can we be alone? Be my everything. Be your. So we got our one track there. It's tuned. Now we're going to. Um, route this to another background track, okay? Call this VBG2. 
too, and you'll notice that what I recorded was the auto-tuned um, part, not the raw vocal. I auto-tuned the, or I recorded the tuned one. So let's put it. Yeah, I'll put that one in. Okay. Make it right, yeah. Can I take you home? Can we be alone? Be my everything. Be your be your king. Can I take you home? Can we be alone? Be my everything. Be your. So there we go. Now we got our two auto tune parts. Let's dump another one in. Why not? Because we're in the FL Noob Zone, and there are no rules here, except for don't suck. Those are the only rule. Here we go. No, that one's stupid. I'm just gonna do an octave lower than this high one. Make it right, yeah. Can I take you home? Can we be alone? Be my everything. Be your king Can I take you home? Can we be alone? Be my everything Be your So, there we go. We got our uh, da -da -da, Cut all that out. Cut. I went over cutting. You just press C when your um, keyboard's not on. So, um, we go... That was in the last video. If you didn't see it, go. Go watch now. Now, what we need to do is take all these background tracks and put them in a bus because that's proper mixing practice. And we, we exercise proper, proper mixing here. Okay, so let's put this back to the main. Let's just put our vocals back because I'm not going to use any more auto-tune. Um, that is the general demonstration on auto-tune, though. And I let me check the time here. Ah, uh, uh, Where is it? I don't even know how long it's been, so... I'm going to cut it here, and we will be back, and I'll show you how to mix all these background vocals, and I'll also fill out the rest of the song so that we can have, like, and I'll put, like, we'll do, like, a whole mixing thing here in the next one, okay? Unless I get another uh, request, hit me. Hit me! And now, uh, by the end of this song here, I'm going to do a quick mastering uh, tutorial. Mastering uh, being just making it loud and presentable to play on the radio or whatever okay and that's uh that's what i mean by when i say mastering in fl studio because mastering pertains to the whole cd usually that's like the classic term of mastering not that it really matters anymore because things have changed times have changed see you later